mouth to mouth. Play. My name is Javier Molina, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the heart, about love, you feel me? Um, and how it affects us in our life, and how it can either be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the outlook you have on yourself, and how you choose to address while you learn, while you're in that state, you know what I mean? To either better yourself, or to uh, tear yourself down and go back into another place. So, all right, here's what it is, right? Take an example. Most of the time we grow up and we feel like we're missing something, you know what I mean? So we might not have a, a certain belief in ourselves or we feel like we lack something, you know what I mean? Our energy is a little bit off. So then you meet somebody, special person, dope as hell, tell you all the right things, you're so beautiful, you're so intelligent, all these things that you always, you know, you tend to doubt yourself on or, or someone in life might have inadvertently beat you up on or purposely beat you up on, you know what I mean? Now they start to like heal that and fix that because someone else is telling you something different and you're getting new information. So um, your energy changes and you fall in love. And it's real, it's because you're connected to another source, another being, another part of life, another piece of energy. And so they give you this certain type of energy that then it hits you and you start to like float. You know what I mean? And you move through life more magically because all of a sudden you got a better connection. You got a better understanding, a better smell, a better view, a better outlook on life and what your goals are. Because your energy is where it needs to be. You're vibrating on a different level. You know what I mean? So then you become dependent on that. And now you start to think that the only way you can achieve that is through that person. And I'm gonna tell you that that's false. Yes, that person might fill you up at that time, but all they're doing is they're helping you see your true self. A vision that is accurate, so if you look within yourself and you trust yourself in God's plan, you'll find that you're absolutely perfect and you have all that energy on your own. You can get it through connecting with trees, with nature, with anything else that triggers love inside you. Going to the gym. Let those things become addictive to you. But what happens is, now this person has something to do, you know what I mean? And they miss a text, or they miss a phone call, or they're meeting or they got, a, they got a friend of the opposite sex that ignites something in them. Then we start to feel like, oh, this person, my energy is gone. What happened? I'm breaking down. Oh, my God. I'm missing that side of myself. All of a sudden, they start to move a little bit, bit different and it affects us because we automatically take it as a view of who we are. You know what I mean? We start to blame ourselves for that. And, um, and we're like, oh, my God, my energy is not the same. She didn't respond to my text. They didn't, uh, he didn't call me back. He didn't pick up my phone call, you know what I mean? And then you start looking at yourself, oh, he must be cheating because he doesn't like this about me or they don't like this about me or they see me this way, you know what I mean? And a lot of that is false image. The truth is that in the beginning, we make a little bit of adjustments. We lie a little bit, we fake a little bit, you know what I mean? We move a little bit sideways, hoping to give them our best angle. <laughs> you know, you're like, here it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Then we start to attack each other. Oh, they don't see me the same way. We start to blame ourselves when we ourselves are doing the same thing because you gotta live life. You feel me? And so the energy starts to shift a little bit and now all of a sudden you're both feeling a little bit incomplete. And you're searching for that energy and because this person has taken it away from you, you choose to blame that. You choose to blame love. I'm one of them. I spent 16 years without being in a relationship because I got hurt and my energy got hurt and I was like, oh, I'm never gonna love again. Fuck women, blah, 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 blah. So, so I started to blame women and I was like, and I blamed love and I'm like, yo, I'm never gonna be in love again. Ah, uh, I'm tough, I put my guard up. Ah, 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 I'm made of steel, you can't hurt me. You know what I mean? And all that did was that shut down a certain side of me. And I'm telling you, you know, if I'm better for, for the experience, but that's not something that you need to go through. Find yourself within yourself and remember that that energy that they fulfilled in you is something that you can create yourself. That person that you saw yourself as when they looked in your eyes, that's who you really are. That's your highest vision of yourself because we can't help it. When we meet someone who affects our energy the right way, we look at them godly. And in return, they look at us godly, you feel me? And that's what intoxicates you. That vision that you need to have for yourself anyway. And so when that vision gets a little altered or, or people start to drift back into their ordinary life because they also got to live their life, you start to feel inferior. Oh my God, my energy's gone. And that creates problems. 
because all of a sudden you can't see yourself no more. Now that mirror's foggy and shit, and you're like, oh man, oh maybe that wasn't true, but it is true. It's absolutely true. It is the realest truth ever, man. That's love. And you don't have to blame love. You don't have to stop that because maybe that experience that you went through was just so that you could become aware and make that adjustment. I just went through a little relationship, you know what I mean? Where um, I let my defenses, I let my fear of being seen a certain way, a certain type of energy that I had built for myself, I let that take away from my experience. And so I created something that took away from me. But what happens is now I remember. I'm like, I went through that. I had to find and understand that what I'm, what I'm yearning, what I fell in love with was the way she saw me. What she reminded me of being, because that's what that person does. They remind you of who you truly are. They remind you of your godliness. They let you see the beauty that is you and the beauty that's the world around you. You don't need another person to give you that. Do me a favor. Take 10 minutes. Take an hour. Take an hour. I challenge you to take an hour. Turn the TV off for an hour and, and, and do something you love. A puzzle. Write a, a story, talk to your best friend, connect to any other aspect of your life besides that relationship that feels like it's just making you less right now. And watch how your energy uplifts again. You ever hang out with your homegirl and shit and afterwards you're like, oh my God, I feel so much better. And then you go home and you start feeling bad again. Because you started living in the past again. You forgot again. You know what I mean? But if you get home and you, your mind starts to drift and tell you something false, then do something truthful. Do something you love. Start painting, start writing, start working out. I guarantee you, you're gonna see, I promise you, that you're gonna see how your energy's gonna shift. All I'm saying, long story short, right, is if, if your image of yourself is dependent on what someone else sees, be it a relationship or whatever it is, then you're always gonna feel less than. You're always gonna move with an idea of lack. Oh, I don't have enough money. I'm not handsome enough. I'm not intelligent enough. Those are ideas of lack. Instead of saying, you know what, I'm a great person. I offer this to the world and I accept that, that lesson. I'm gonna take everything that I went through right there and I'm gonna make adjustments that apply to who I wanna be in life and what I wanna do in life. Because when you start supplying those aspects of yourself, Working out, reading a book, going to the movies, whatever you live in the now, when you start to find your true self, man, you see your godliness in yourself and understand that that godliness, there's, there's proof around it all around you. Love yourself, feel me? <laughs> Yo, mi gente, Javier Molina, Dennis Fibo, Guasabara Insights, Every Day is a Monday Productions, you know? From the heart, nigga, you know? Love y'all, huh?